Hello everyone, Zaid from Z Security here, and today we have another video in our Hack the Box series. In today's video, Dimitris is going to exploit a remote code execution vulnerability in a web application. So previously we showed how to use that within a service that is running on the server. Today we're gonna do that in a web application that is running on a web server. He's gonna use that to get initial access on the web server, and then he's gonna have to manually search for a local exploit and exploit it to escalate his privileges to administrator. So again, previously we've seen how to do that with an exploit suggester. In today's video, you'll actually see how the script will actually fail and you'll have to manually search for the exploit and use it. But at the end the result, he's gonna to manage to become admin and gain full control over the target server. All of this is going to be done in order to hack and root the optimum machine. It's actually a Windows machine. It's rated easy to intermediate. So you might think it's easy, but you will also learn a thing or two as you watch the video. Thank you very much Dimitris for making the video. He actually has his own channel now. So make sure you check it out and subscribe and make sure you smash the like button if you enjoyed this video and if you want us to make more videos in the Hack the Box series. So hello everyone and welcome to yet another live hacking session on the VIP Z Security Discord server. My name is Dimitris and today I'll be showing you guys how to root the Optimum machine from Hack the Box. We can see that this machine is also CVE rated, which means that we will be able to root to root it or gain access to it using CVEs found online. So without further ado, let's get started. As usual, I will start off with a simple nmap scan. So the command is nmap das sv which probes all the open ports das a which enables os detection and on which outputs the results to the file. I'm going to call the file optimum .txt and I'm going to specify the IP address of the machine which is 10.10.10.8 I'm going to run this and I'll give this some time to run. Normally, if you're doing a pen test, you need to run thus A to see what OS is running on the machine. But we can see right here that this is a Windows machine. But we might get even more information with the thus A. So, all we see here is uh, HTTP running on port 80. And it's most probably a Windows Server 2012. We can keep this in mind. So knowing this information, we can go ahead and access the web page that it has. And we can see right here an interface, a web application interface. Uh, we can see that this is an HTTP file server, which is uh, version 2.3. Um, so I'm just going to Google this and see if I can find anything on this. Actually, I, mi I missed file, and I'm going to specify the version 2.3. Let's see what we get. Already, we can see some exploits over here. We can see one from exploit DB, um, but I think there's also one for Metasploit. So let's try and find this. Here we go. This is the one. So these exploits. Uh, so this exploit. Um, the HFS, which is the uh, HTTP file server, uh, the scripting commands by using percent zero zero, and this bypasses the filtering. So, which this means that on the search bar over here, uh, we can type percent zero zero, then open some brackets, and we can see that here I've already tested this, and. This is actually a blind command execution. We won't see any result on our uh, web page or anywhere. But we can test if this actually works by running TCP dump dash i on tan0. And this will dump the traffic on the network and we will specify the, the interface that we want to target, which is tan0. So I will let this run. And I will also execute this ping command on my own machine. We can also verify that this is my IP address. There we go. So now let me just run this and see if this actually works. 
and we can see right here that we got the result uh, the command execution actually works and that is what the exploit is going to use it's going to upload the payload and then it will gain a remote connection so now we'll copy this I'll go back to my metasploit and I'll paste the exploit over here I will show the options and all I have to, to set is the L host and the R host. So I'll do set L host. My IP address is 10, 10, 14, 10. And the R host, which is 10, 10, 10.8. So now all I have to do is just exploit this. Oh, actually, I misspelled L host. So now if I run this again. It should work. And there we go, we've got a meterpreter, a meterpreter session opened. Great. So now I can do sysinfo. And we can see that the computer name is Optimum. And the domain name is Hacktabox. So we have successfully gained initial access to this machine. But just knowing what uh, application is running on the web server and the version of it, we, are, we also... Uh, mentioned how this exploit is going to work by bypassing, bypassing the filtering and now all we have to do is privilege escalate so normally what you want to do is actually list the processes on the current machine and then we can see right here that the architecture of our current the cell is running on, uh, on 86 so we have to make it run on 64 so I will run the PS command and this will list all of the processes running on the machine and I will find a 64-bit process running I will take the Explorer one I will copy the PID and I will migrate my cell to this one so now again if we do sysinfo we can see right here that our meterpreter cell is running on 64-bit uh, and that's what we wanted so now I can background my session and now what I want to do is search for exploits that can be run on this machine to gain a higher privilege. So I will do search suggested. I will copy it, copy it, use this one. And I will set the session to one. We can also verify that the ID is one. And now I can run this. We'll just give this some time to run and we'll see what exploits we can run on this machine. So now we can see guys that we've got results. This won't do the job for us. We can try this one. Uh, let's see. Use this one. Let's set the session to one and run this. Oh, I actually have to run... Uh, I, will, I, have, I have to specify the L host again which because it takes my local uh, IP address. So set L host. And I'll run this again. So we can see that this has failed. The other ones should fail as well. So um, what, what we want to do now is actually go back to our nmap scan, let me stop this one uh, and I will cut my nmap result again and if you remember guys we saw that this machine is running Windows Server 2012 so uh, we can search for Windows 12 uh, server privilege escalation and we've got some results over here so let's see this one from exploit DB. So this has to run on a PowerShell which is uh, greater than version 2. Uh, let's see if there's something on Metasploit which is going to be really easy to use. So I'm just going to copy the CVE name and paste it right here. And there we go. We've got a Metasploit exploit for this. So what this done is actually 
exploit the secondary logon handle. So let's use this and see if this works. I will set my session again to one and let's hope that this works. I again forgot to specify the L host. And there we go, we've got a interpreter session uh, 2 that has opened. Now let's see, let's run this info. Uh, so again, we're running on 86 uh, architecture. Let's do a cell and run who am I? And as you can see guys, we are authority, we're system. We are the highest privilege user on the machine, which means that we have successfully uh, rooted this machine. So now all we have to do is go back. Uh, now we have to get all of the flags. See the user. Oh, it's actually users. Um, let's go to Costas. We, now we have to go to the desktop. I misspelled dear. And we can see user.txt right here. I will uh, output the contents to the terminal. And we can see these are the contents of the user.txt flag. And now I'll have to go back to the administrator. CD the desktop again. And now we can type root.txt. And these are the contents of the root flag. So this was a really easy machine. All we had to do is actually do some nice and good enumeration. Um, we can see that the dash A uh, parameter on Nmap works really good and it actually gave us really valuable information because if it wasn't for this information, we would not have exploited and rooted this machine. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I will make sure to answer all of them.